What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Sometimes when rappers go on tour together, they like to get in a collaboration. It's not often, but it's always something that is very much appreciated. It's cool because oftentimes you see these lineups of people that haven't worked together, but you wonder like what would it sound like if they did collaborate? Well, ASAP Ferg does not keep you wondering. Yesterday he released a new record titled Christy Yamaguchi, and this one features his tour mates for the Mad Man Tour, Denzel Curry and IDK. Christy Yamaguchi pretty much gives us like the best of both worlds. It's lyrical and also energetic. I think that right there is ASAP Ferg's like best combinations where he's actually trying and he's also bringing that energy. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this was uh, performed live on the tour because it feels like it could be. I think the one thing that would be holding it back just a little bit is that there is no hook on here. Instead you get this guy named Nick Knack who really sounds like a, a smooth talking pimp. He's speaking in between the verses and I, I won't lie it's entertaining. His voice is like it, it really sounds like like a straight up pimp and it kind of reminded me of like Larry June if you guys ever listened to Larry June the rapper like the inflections in his voice it's like yeah what's up with you baby like he, he talks like that so while I was entertained with it I do feel like this song kind of lacks a hook you could have had Nick Nat come in for an intro and an outro and then in between had a hook and that would have elevated this record a lot more in terms of the verses, I enjoyed them. I think ASAP Ferg gets really creative with the people that he works with, like on the same level. With his last project, I noticed there's a lot of like, you know, like new rappers, I guess. I don't know, really know how to classify them, but you had like Lil Yachty, Playboy Cardi, and Ferg kind of diminishes himself to those levels to fit in with what their skill set is. Well, that is also the case with Christy Yamaguchi. Denzel Curry and IDK are both heavy spitters. These guys can rap. So Ferg actually tries. Ferg actually puts in the work to have a really good verse. I mean, if nothing else, he has a line that says, Mumble rap all on that cat. Mumble rap all on that cat. <laughs> that line alone makes Mumble Rap's existence worth it. <laughs> As for Denzel Curry, I mean, what can you really say about him? Every time that I hear him, and granted, I'm not the biggest Denzel fan, so when I hear him, I'm always impressed, but I'm not like overly listening to him, I guess. So when I listen to him, I'm like, man, he has the best flows. He has the voice that complements it. It's like a circle of compliments. His voice complements the flow. The flow complements the voice. Add in the lyrics. You got like a full circle right there of everything complementing each other. Denzel is really good. It, may, it gets me to a point to where I'm like, okay, maybe I have to actually like listen to a full project. I've listened to him like here and there. I've checked out songs, but... I don't think I've ever sat down and listened to a full project. If I did, it was probably like in the background of me doing something else and I don't really recall it. But Denzel is always somebody who is killing it on these guest features. Now let's go to the final verse by IDK. So normally I sing IDK's praises. I say he's like one of the best new up and coming rappers today. Unfortunately, I feel like with this verse, he kind of held back a little bit. Not to say that he didn't have a good verse, but I think ASAP Ferg and Denzel Curry beat him in the, you know, in like the, the friendly competition way. IDK doesn't come in first or second on this record. He comes in third. And I guess in a way, that's not a bad thing. I'm not trying to diminish him or, you know, trash him at all. I'm just saying that this verse isn't uh, as good as the other two verses. I feel like IDK kind of made his verse um, 
like a little more on the catchy side. It was less about him trying to show out lyrically like uh, like he did on Hello Part 3. And it was more about trying to make something that's catchy. And so that, that right there is a good direction to go in. He still has some bars on here too. He said, um, they took your chain, now you necklace. You know, playing on like necklace and chain, you know, like that. It, it, it's pretty cool. I like that line. That was the one that really stood out to me. Um, overall, though, this record, Christy Yamaguchi, is a great song for IDK and Denzel Curry. I look at it like this. If you're not going to ASAP Ferg's tour, then you miss out on seeing the stage presence of his opening acts. So you might miss out on being a fan. Whereas if you're an ASAP Ferg fan not going to the tour, now you have this record. Now you have Denzel and IDK in your face. And if they uh, impress you enough, you're going to want to listen to more of them. More of them. And, you know, just find out how great these artists are. And if you are going on the tour, or if you are going to one of the tour stops, consider this like a warm-up, an appetizer. Because now you can look up some of the music prior and maybe you'll be singing to IDK and Denzel by the time the tour, the Madman tour, comes to your city. So those are my thoughts on ASAP Ferg's new record to promote his tour that just started yesterday. This one is called Christy Yamaguchi. It features Denzel Curry and IDK. After you listen to this song, I want to know what you think about it. Are you feeling this one? Do you think it needed a hook? Talk to me in the comment section below. And then like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at SirMizDomain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.